Andy and Joey. I think Elliot is a fed. I'm Melton, so I'm a carpenter. My dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne. I'm the son of a carpenter. I get to make variables. And, uh, this is one of us. My son of a carpenter. Sugar chick. I, apparently you need high sugar to grow a new pair of eyes. And a whole new body. A smaller browner circle slowly disappearing. Surrounded by that white. Helping it along, I think. And a bigger, bluer circle is growing in around and through. Our, uh, yeah, I can't really see the monitor, so oh, the screen. Oh, there we go. The bigger blue circuits growing in around through that's genetic carpentry at work. Um, I son of carpentry. I learned this from that. Don't try this at home. But, uh, I'm going to tell my son of carpentry sugar check purple. As I check my blood sugar and show you some of my work from last month, I believe. Oh, wow. Uh, got to change that out once a day. Andy and Joey are cops out here in California. And Andy is telling Joey about uh, the new guy, the rookie, Elliot. And he says, uh, have you noticed anything about him? And Joey says, well, yeah, his, his hands and face <coughs> are tanned and yeah, his arms aren't. Uh, And Andy says, yeah, I know what. I stopped by unexpectedly yesterday, his house, you know, on his day off. And uh, he was in this nice suit. I asked him, are you going out somewhere? Uh, he says, no, no, I was just kicking back, sitting around the house all day. He says, yeah, he wears those suits all the time. He's a fad. And Joey says, yeah, I have noticed. He, he asked a whole lot of questions, uh, 240. About uh, those impersonators of Stone Cold and those Flight 93 checks. Chicken Post and Five Guys. Do a Flight 93 checks. The heroes of 9 11 fought back against the terrorists who had hijacked their plane physically. They also made calls. Our, vid our phones nowadays make videos. Uh, so when you call me, 424 229 4140. And you can't reach me. You don't know when else that phone won't be allowed to work. Yeah, you can make a video of it. Oh, you're going to get something boring when you try to call me? A phone ringing, an error message, a busy signal? You get to leave a message. I don't get it. You don't show up on my caller ID, my call log, my call records. Whatever boring thing you get, it's not going to be boring if you need the firemen, the police, or the paramedics. So make a video of it. We the people must be the reporters. Call me up in front of reporters. Network news anchors, local news anchors, any and all. In the public eye. Mayors, governors, senators. Ask him what you know about this. When else will my phone not be allowed to work? Uh, why aren't you covering that? You can certify mail to the man. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard is right here. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065.
Use FedEx, use UPS, as well as the United States Post Office. Not one bit of mail and not one ninety-three check in nine years of asking for those checks of America's Lifeline. See that phone is every child in America's Lifeline, every family in America's Lifeline, to the fireman, police, and paramedics, the one you're making a video of with your phone. And make that video, all firemen, all policemen across America, all soldiers. You protect America, this is part of it. Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. Uh, Melton. John Melton Brady. Old Stone Cold Melton's the nickname. John Melton Brady is the one on the California ID. And uh, birth certificate and all that. And son of a cop to me, that's my parentage. Certify that mail, make the video of it, carry these things around in your wallet. They're the size of a driver's license or a credit card. You can laminate, they'll last longer, and you, if you want, uh, hand them out. When someone doesn't know about their Gates livelihood or their hijacked lifeline, yeah, it's not going to be boring. You need a fireman, police, paramedics, and next time you're calling up countless other customers. And you're getting that boring thing. Money out of your pocket so uh, Gates and Microsoft can make money instead of you if you're in the computer industry or uh, Walmart if you're in the retail industry or uh, Spectrum if you're in the cable industry. Whatever you're in. I bet you use the phone in whatever business you're in. Now back to my parable. As Joey and Andy are kind of watching uh, Elliot, and they're saying, you know, he, uh, he always, uh, he's talking about how he'd like to get in with those. Oh, you can't conduct for nine years that level of organized crime that can place someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. Can't reach me and tell me who I said vote for, what I said vote for. You can't reach www.vote-truth.blogspot.com. And the voter registration links there? Yeah, they place. Now they got the buffoon Trump in there, waving the Russian flag. But, uh, Hey, you can't do that with all kinds of uh, folks in official positions, even. Taking part in that organized crime. That's what it is. He's always asking about that, and uh, I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes. And how he'd like to get in with that, and uh, it's a little better over here. I just can't. The muscles won't do it. Go take long, but I'll get it some sharp-looking ones over here. And just then, you know, Elliot, he starts looking around, and he. Uh, He kind of reaches underneath that bulge underneath his shirt. He has a bulletproof vest. And uh, he pulls out this little, one of those mini, you ever seen a mini cassette? Oh, I'm not sure how they work and all that, but they got those little tapes that uh, pull out and you know he, he looks around he takes out one of those tapes puts it in his pocket he pulls out a, a fresh tape puts it in there then you know kind of pushes it back in underneath that bulletproof vest and uh, uh joey says well doesn't he know your phone will do that nowadays i well, go for Hours and hours and hours and and he says, "Oh, he's a fed. <laughs> he's back in that uh, 
Nixon mode. Needs those tapes. Oh, okay, guys, your yeah, your phone. So make audios and <coughs> excuse me, audios and video. So uh, so I tell you, use your phone. We the people must be the reporters. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifeline. Whatever you get, you got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dial. And when it doesn't match up to my call records and your call records, so yeah, that's uh, organized crime. That's uh, yeah, the kind of thing that can uh, hijack our democracy very silently. Uh, come see me when you can't reach him by phone and yes half wet will trap which only the perfect place to build a, the best skyline to build against and the best people to start building with that uh, immaculate house to inspire the future and the present to greatness but that's that religious sense if they can place someone in Hussein the highest office in the world and uh, can also keep you from telling me what you believe or asking me what I mean by Jesus is a Maglet House. Oh, you can call an opportunity house if you want. Cities, communities, really just uh, places to inspire with the art, the architecture, the science, uh, the people inside it. You can call it whatever you want, but yes, there will be a test at the end. Come see me. Have wit, we'll travel. Show me that perfect place to build. And let's get started building. Those thousand points of light. Tear down the Great Wall of Evil has just me and all of this imagery. I just updated for the 4x6 print, and this was cut out from a 4x6 print. It's got just me in it. Tear down the Great Wall of Evil that has that going on, and let's get started on those. Oh, I don't. No wonder it was hazy. I didn't have no lights on. Let's get started on those uh, thousand points of light. To inspire the future and the present to greatness with. And yeah, it always just be honest and truthful. You don't have to worry about the ever present eyes and ears of technology catching you doing something bad. 